to reach the highest form of meditation is not the destruction of the senses. The senses all remain, but reaching that highest stage, the senses will be guided differently. You have a totally different perspective. And uh, what it would take away from you is the craving, the mother of all miseries. People suffer in this world because of craving. And there are many objects of craving. It does not necessarily mean food that you crave for lobster dinner or you crave for chicken or turkey or pork chops or whatever. Hmm? But craving also has so many other forms. Hmm? You crave for wealth. You crave for relationships. You crave for uh, you name it. Everything is based upon craving. And these cravings are accentuated by the senses and their counterparts. So you lose craving. You lose lust, for example, which is also a craving. You crave for what you want to do. But yet you can do the same thing without craving. See, when you know that you've reached a step higher, hmm? you, you can make sensual love, hmm? have sensual love with your beloved, and you react with seem the same in divine love. Hmm? And yet it was the same act. The one is filled with craving, animal passion. And the other is also filled with passion, but divine passion. When you want to find margins with the object, with the beloved, so that, so that the object and the subject become one. That is, Divine love beyond craving. So you still do the same thing. Like the old Zen story which I might have told you before, I can't remember. Hmm? And the teacher asked the Zen master, what do you do, you know, before you became enlightened? So the Zen master replied that I chop wood, I make fires, and I cook food. Hmm? And what do you do now after enlightenment? So the Zen master replied, I chop food, I make fire, and I cook food. Same action even after reaching enlightenment. But the action, although it is the same to the ordinary eyes, seems a great difference hmm, to the enlightened one. Hmm? Before wood was just wood, fire was just fire, hmm? and food was just food. But now, the wood becomes God, and through the wood, fire is made. Hmm? So, the wood is sacrificed to the fire, which is also God, and the food cooked on the fire is also divine, also God. So, the wood, the fire, and the food become divine. Hmm? And you see the difference. That is when you rise above the, the senses and become enlightened. Hmm?